Today is closet declutter day. I am so excited to jump in. I'm gonna do this in a couple of phases and just show you my process of my annual closet declutter. I do this at least once every year, if not more often than that, and especially as I'm trying on clothing. But I'm gonna show you what my annual closet declutter looks like, so let's get going. There are a couple of different ways to go about a closet declutter and a couple of different ways that I go about it personally. Sometimes I prefer to take absolutely everything out of my closet. Other times I just kind of go item by item, still making sure I'm touching everything. It does accomplish the same thing, but I will say if you choose to take everything out of your closet, it takes it one step further and yes, it's an extra effort, but it really makes you think about those items that you are putting back into your closet, which is the same mentality I like to use regardless of which way that I tackle things. You want to selectively choose what to put in your closet, what to keep in your closet, as opposed to what to pull out of your closet. So every time I'm grabbing an article of clothing, I wanna think not should I get rid of this, but should I be keeping this? The mentality of should I keep this still comes into play when decluttering, but oftentimes it comes into play when I'm trying on clothing or when I'm getting ready for a certain event and trying to figure out what to wear or just those quick declutters and I'm trying to pull some things out of my closet. For example, if I am getting ready and put on an outfit and don't feel my best in it, I don't like the way that I look in it, maybe something's ripped or torn or stained and I can't fix it, then I'm thinking to myself, should I get rid of this and pull it out of my closet right now? Because if I'm not liking the way that it fits me or looks on me right now, if I put it in my closet and try it on again later, I'm probably gonna be in the same situation. Instead of returning it to the rack, I should put it into a declutter pile right now. Today I'm making some pretty quick decisions. I'm sifting through these pretty quickly, but you will see I pause on a couple of items, pull them out, look at them, and I'm thinking through all of these different questions in my head of, when's the last time I wore this? Do I really enjoy this and love this? Is there something else I'd rather wear instead of this? With every pass I take of my closet, I can be a little bit more ruthless and realize in the previous turn, maybe I grabbed something, thought about it for a while and decided to keep it. And if I come back around another time to declutter it, maybe six months later, maybe a year later, and it's still there, I still haven't worn it or I still have the same thoughts, then I know it's time to pull it from the closet and get rid of it. Sometimes I get questions about what do I mean by decluttering or getting rid of? Am I throwing things away? Am I donating them? Am I selling them? Am I giving them to friends and family? What does that mean? And I would love to share a more detailed video on the decluttering process and where items go when they leave your home. I do a combination. When I'm decluttering, I typically make just one pile and then go through that pile after and decide what needs to be thrown away, if anything, what can be donated, what I might sell, what I might give to friends and family, and go from there. Mm -hmm. 
I always find it's helpful to go category by category when decluttering. My closet is organized that way, so it also makes it easier. But when you're going category by category and color by color, then I can see how many black shirts I have and I can compare and say, how many black shirts do I need? If I have two that are similar, can I get rid of one and just keep one? It's just another way to look at things that really helps me think a little more critically. Now I'm onto my dresses. I have a ton of dresses, but I love wearing them in the winter, in the fall, summer, spring, basically every season. Dresses are so comfortable for me, but unfortunately a lot of my dresses are still more business or business casual dresses. I wish I had more casual, casual dresses that I could easily just throw on and run for a trip to the grocery store. And that is the same of a lot of my closet because I was working in an office five days a week prior to 2020. And now I am completely remote. A lot of my wardrobe still needs to slowly adapt. I don't want to go out and buy a bunch of clothing, nor do I want to get rid of absolutely everything that I own that's business or business casual right away. My closet is in a little bit of a transformational phase right now. In in addition to my day-to-day -day changing in terms of my career and going into an office versus working remote, my body has changed a lot. I've gone through pregnancy and postpartum, nursing. I was breastfeeding our baby. So during that phase of time, whenever I would leave the house, I was looking for things that were nursing friendly. So a lot of my wardrobe didn't fit for that. When I was pregnant, my options were limited. And now postpartum, my body has changed again. And even now with a baby who's over a year old, I still like to be comfortable so I can get on the floor and up and down. All that to say, make sure when you're going through your closet to use the current lifestyle you have as a perspective and as a lens of decluttering. If I were to use the lens of where my life was at three years ago, two years ago, or even six months ago, it's not going to be as effective as it would be if I think realistically about my lifestyle right now. I was able to pretty quickly tackle all of my clothing, so I am going to address my shoes today as well. A lot of shoes I can get rid of from remembering whether they're comfortable or not, but some of them I need to try on and give myself a little bit of a reminder. So I grabbed a pair of socks to try on some shoes because I remembered one of my pairs of black heeled booties was not comfortable and the other ones were, so I had to figure out which one was which. Had a million conversations in my head about where it went wrong And I've got no idea where you've been, who you are, not anymore All I got is this Polaroid picture of us from June 24th It's where I kissed you for the first time, laid on your sheets You gave me your heart and said you trusted with me But all I did was let you down time and time again It wasn't my intention, maybe we should have been friends So, you're someone I used to know But nobody said it once I've finished all of my heels and boots, I keep my sandals on the other side of the closet in an office organizer. I'm gonna try on a few of those as well and see if there's anything else I can get rid of. Nobody said it was easy. Maybe I should have known. I've been out to late shifting beds trying to kill the image of you. Got a million stupid at the way top of the closet, I have some sneakers and little slide-ons. I usually keep a pair of old tennis shoes for hiking or dirtier activities. And I think it was time to get rid of the oldest pair, rotate out one of my current pairs that I wear on a daily basis and have that become my dirty pair. And like I said, get rid of the current dirty pair, if that makes sense. I have purses and some necklaces hanging in here as well, but I'm probably gonna save that for another day and do some more accessory decluttering. But I have one last shelf of bulky sweaters that I can go through here and a couple I think I wanna get rid of.
When I went to put those things down on my pile of items I wanna declutter, it made me feel like I wanna do a quick second pass. I was starting to get more ruthless and had a moment to think about some of the items I paused on before. So I'm going through and actually doing a second pass all in one day, all in one decluttering session and getting rid of even more as you can see. Sometimes it takes a while to get that momentum going and it takes you a while to get into that right frame of decluttering mind. I think there's a little bit of a decluttering high that I get. So once I get on a roll, I try and ride that wave and that's what I'm doing by taking a second pass. If you've never tried doing this, taking a first pass and then doing it one more time, give it a shot in your next decluttering project, whether it's your closet or somewhere else in your house. Hi, let's go. Biggest thing for me on shoes is comfort and I want to think through carefully no matter how cute the shoes are because that can be a draw for me how comfortable they are and if I'm going to wear them. Now on the floor, I have that big pile that I talked about. I don't worry about it as I'm decluttering, folding it or making other subcategories and piles. I do that all after I declutter. So I'm going to fold things up nice and neat and put them into separate piles of trying to sell, donate, maybe a couple of items that I need to get rid of. And if you have friends or family who like to shop your closet, invite them over, have a little party. I've done that a few times before, invited my friends over to see if they wanna grab anything before I donate it or try and sell it. I've also done something really fun, had a party with some of my friends where we all bring our clothing and do a little bit of a clothing exchange. But again, be on a lookout for a video where I'm going to talk about about all the different things that you can do with your clothing when you make the decision to declutter. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you loved today's video. Got a little bit of motivation to do some, got a little bit of motivation to do some decluttering in your home as well. If you liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later.